All right, everybody, it's Rob the Video Game Hoarder here, getting you there, and it is Thursday night, turkey night. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Now it's time to shop. All right, let's see where we can go. I'm going to check out some stories and see if any of these crazy Black Friday things are going on. Let's check it out. Target's out. Uh, how about uh, Walmart? Okay, uh, let's try the mall, I guess. he does <laughs> So it's Rob the Video Game Order here, and you there, and of course I picked up some games on Black Friday, or even Thanksgiving Thursday, I don't, I don't know what they call that, but, um, let's see, what did I get, uh, I basically went to two stores, um, Walmart I totally forgot about, which sucks, because they had a bunch of $8 games, um, that I wouldn't mind looking through, um, but I went last year, and Walmart was such a fucking, like, craze, like, they had lines everywhere, and there was, like, people fighting over stuff, and, uh, I mean, I showed you footage of different fights that I saw, like, online and stuff for Black Friday, but, um, I actually saw people fighting over, like, $10 microwaves and, you know, like, $15 pots and stuff. I was like, what? Like, they brought one skid out into the, into the middle of, um, an aisle, they, and they just, like, took the skid away and just let everybody go in, and everybody just dove in and started ripping in. Like, I was like, holy shit, dude. Like, so I left Walmart real quick last year, and I, I didn't go back this year. So, um, so I hit up GameStop, pretty much, and Target. So, Target, actually, I went Best Buy, too, but I didn't find anything that I really wanted. Um, it was a couple things for, like, nineteen ninety nine or or whatever that I might have picked up, but... I mean, like, Bravely Default, I think it was, or, uh, the, the Bravely, whatever the second one was on 3DS, but I barely play my 3DS anyway, so, um, anyway, so, uh, Target was the first destination, and I picked up, uh, a couple games there, um, oh, I was gonna say, I picked up one more, there we go, uh, a couple of them, I mean, I got there right when Target was opening, so, so I went to Best Buy first because they opened an hour earlier, and I kind of just bullshitted around, um, and I went to Target uh, right when they were opening, I think either 5 or 6 uh, on Thursday, and um, they already, it was, it was madness in the electronics section because they were, the people were going for that $99 uh, DS or 3DS or whatever, so that was limited quantity. And, um, I didn't really care for that, but it just, it made that whole area, like, non-walkable. So, they actually went into all the, the, the aisles and unlocked all the video game things, so people could just reach in and grab the video games, because they were just getting called back and forth and everywhere. So, they didn't do a good job, at least at my target, that, uh, to, um, differentiate the titles. I mean, there was a bunch of $15 ones, but all the $8 ones... 
there was only like Assassin's Creed, and there was a lot more games that were eight dollars, but that they didn't like show. But I either knew from cheap ass gamer or online somewhere from uh, like ads or whatever that that certain games were eight bucks, so I grabbed them. Um, okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Okay. So Assassin's Creed. Um, I'm not much of an Assassin's Creed fan at all. I don't know why I even picked this up, but I know why I picked it up. It's eight bucks. That's why I picked it up. But um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So um, hopefully it's good. I, I don't know. I played the first Assassin's Creed, hated it. Played the second one, loved it. I think I played the third one, hated it again. And then I played another one, um, Black Flag, I think it was, and I hated that one too. So. Um, I, I'm not really good on Assassin's Creed, so, but I figured eight bucks, give it a shot. Uh, this is one I've been wanting for a while, and I keep going back and forth, and I keep dropping the price. I mean, it went down from, the, uh, you know, 60 to 30, to 20 to 15, um, and this time it was eight, so I finally jumped on it. Um, I would have rather had it on PS4, but they were out, but eight bucks, Xbox One, Mad Max, so... Um, this is an Xbox One exclusive, and just came out, I mean, I think it was only 40 bucks when it came out, but still, this thing's been dropping like a rock, so obviously this, I don't know, it didn't do too well, or it sucks, or, or I don't know what, but for, I think it was 15 bucks here, I don't know if Walmart had it cheaper, or someplace else had it cheaper, maybe, or maybe GameStop did, I don't remember, but I think I got it for 15 bucks. Either 10 or 15. I'm pretty sure 15 though. Uh, from Target. Uh, Recore. So. I remember when I saw stuff from E3 from that. It looked really awesome. And I really wanted it. And, uh, I don't know if it, it, went, uh, it just didn't work out or whatever. But um, this one's uh, kind of like a Dynasty Warriors clone. So, uh, and actually like a the Zelda one that they released uh, pretty recently. Uh, which was like a hack and slash uh, fighter game. So, uh, eight bucks, Dragon Quest Heroes, had to pick that one up. And, uh, this one's for my daughter, um, she's been wanting this game for a while, um, and I've been waiting for it to go under, under 30 bucks, but it just hasn't, so, uh, it's definitely held its value, um, but 15 bucks, jumped in, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. Uh, the first one was really fun, I'm sure this one's just, uh, uh, added chaos, which will make it even more fun, but, uh, you can't go wrong with Plants for the Zombies, so I don't think, anyway. Now, GameStop, I went Thursday and I went Friday, because they had different deals Thursday and Friday. So, um, this game wasn't cheap, and uh, there was no real deal on it, but um, I think it's an exclusive for, for GameStop, kind of like uh, Seven Days to Die was, that they only released it there, through that store, for whatever reason. But, um, I think it was 30 bucks. So, uh, I've been playing it, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much, uh, I mean, out of all the games, I think it's the only one I've actually opened, so, uh, you know me, I'm a zombie, uh, guy, so, um, Killing Floor 2. Um, I don't really suggest this as a one-player game, but you can play up to six people. Actually, you can play up to 12 and do two teams of six and play against each other. Or just get six player co op. That's, I mean, I think that's really fun. And then you can set up how many rounds you want to do and whatever. And then you kind of go, uh, after each round, you can buy perks and, and everything else and uh, bullets, ammo. And then uh, at the last round is like a boss battle. So uh, it's pretty fun. So hopefully um, enough people stay on to play online. Because uh, this, again, this is like online only. So. You know, sometimes those games die out pretty quick, and then there's, you know, they're a coaster. So, this is a game I've wanted for a while. Um, uh, and, um, wow, brain fart. Um, it's kind of like, uh, what is that game? Outcast, I think it is? Or at least it reminded me of it. So, um, but it has, it's bombed completely compared to it, so. I think this is online only too. Yeah, it requires internet. So, um, but this has been on sale everywhere, um, and uh, it was ten bucks. So, 
gave a shot Battleborn. They actually had a, an edition at GameStop that uh, came with a, a little figure too, but of course they were out for PS4, so I didn't get it, but whatever. Now this is, uh, they were giving the deluxe edition on, uh, on Friday, um, at GameStop, but for 10 bucks, then they also were selling it all weekend for 10 bucks, the regular edition, so they didn't have the deluxe edition when I went there, because I, I was working Friday, so I went there Friday night, but, um, this is a game that's, I, I don't know, it's okay, um, I'm not a big Star Wars guy, but, you know, Battlefront's fun. Uh, it's online only again, so there's no story or anything. But um, ten bucks, picked it up again. Once nobody starts playing it or the online activity drops, then this is going to be a coaster too. But ten bucks, whatever. And this is kind of the game I've been wanting for a while. Um, I don't even know how many parts to the. I mean, it's a Telltale game, so usually it's five uh, parts to a series, but. Um, I don't know how many they've released yet, but I kind of want to wait until they release all of them because uh, I played the Walking Dead ones and, you know, it, it sucks waiting in between, so I just want to kind of clear them all, but um, I'm a big Batman guy, so I don't know how long I'm going to hold off on this, but Batman the Telltale series, I know there's at least two parts of it out already, so, um, but I was really excited about this, so hopefully it's good. Um, I don't know, it's Batman, it's the Telltale game, so it's got to be good, right? So, uh, I picked that up for, it was on sale, uh, was it 15 bucks, I think it was? Yeah, it's normally 30, so it's 15. So, alright, that's what I got for Black Friday. Um, hope you guys did really well on that, too. Uh, there were a lot of sales everywhere, so, uh, hopefully you guys picked up good, uh, good, uh, games for your collection. You know, let me know in the comments what you guys got, and, uh, what was your best pickup? Maybe you got one of those 3DSs that people were basically about to go fight in Target about. Um, or and got a new system or whatever. Let me know. So, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Rob is out.